hello guys uh, very good morning because it is 4 am and uh, i have made this amazing video see believe me i am into aerospace from more than uh, like uh, 10 plus years it's been i am into academics of aerospace department and i have not found any single video on youtube where we will understand that what are the subjects uh, offered by IIT Madras for their MS programs because it is the second video of the series in first video I have given all the introduction so this series you will definitely like because here I am going to talk all the programs uh, for MTech and MS given by all different IITs one by one one by one so this is the second video but it is about IIT Madras MS in aerospace engineering so we will see Roughly 10 PDFs I have and we will see what are the programs is offered by aerospace in, uh, by IIT Madras in MS. MS means Master of Science in Aerospace Engineering. Do not do not be confused with the uh, MTech. So uh, that will be uh, that video will be a separate video. This is only for MS program. So uh, if you are qualifying in gate exam, then uh, you have to go through an interview uh, in IIT Madras and uh, uh, written exam as well. Uh, sometimes they take written exam, sometimes they don't take. But nowadays they have. Uh, written exam and after getting a score in written exam then you have your uh, interview and after that you get seat in ms uh, program so <coughs> they are so ms in aerospace engineering and i hope you love this aircraft and i hope you'll appreciate my work too list of all the areas and subjects offered by iit madras let's see one by one so department of uh, uh, department research areas are like uh, in aerodynamics you can do research in aerospace propulsion and aircraft structure and flight mechanism control as well so uh, actually, most most of the time, what happens? Uh, flight mechanics and control, uh, like most of the common subjects we have in aerodynamics. Okay, and uh, propulsion and structure they are totally separate. But in flight mechanics, mostly two to three areas we have. I will I will discuss everything in detail. Don't worry. So research areas of aerodynamics we will see one by one. See, uh, if your interest is uh, really great in aerodynamics then these are the topics you will see in aerodynamics you see uh, you can uh, take your uh, subject as subsonic transonic supersonic hypersonic rarefied gas flows okay in this uh, department you can go and you can do your research boundary layers and stability of flows turbulent flows like these things you already uh, know from your uh, bachelor degree program okay shock tubes and related problems so actually shock tube especially we don't uh, discuss in our uh, ug level but little bit like if you have gone through some kind of standard books like uh, uh, in gas dynamics like any compressible flow if you uh, book you take like john Anderson, john Anderson, uh, zucker or uh, uh, radhakrishnan or the, the, these books if you will if you'll go through uh, uh, you will be having this wording called shock tubes right where we, where we used to uh, develop shock to compress the gases right okay so uh, you can also go for development of algorithms and code for numerical methods in gas dynamics and computational fluid dynamics like computational fluid it, it is also known as cfd so see here numerical methods guys so in gate exam also we have this subject where we used to discuss numerical methods right uh, you can also say numerical techniques if you want to recall uh, there is something called simpson right there is something called newton raphson method so these things are on this topic okay then we go for uh, vertex dynamics and uh, supersonic mixing yes and then we go for optical flows uh, optical flow diagnostics here optical flow diagnostics means we are going to visualize the flow then we have a rotating and stratified uh, stratified flows actually uh, where do you see a rotating flow uh, whenever we have a compressor running or whenever we have turbine running there we have this kind of flows where flow itself is rotating now vertex stability and then lagrangian coherent structure and then hydrodynamics of quantum fluid it will be very interesting it sounds good shock wave dynamics transitional ballastics helicopter and mavs now see mavs it means micro this m means micro so uh, aviation vehicles and uh, flight mechanics sorry flight dynamics and then we have stability and control of aerospace vehicles so uh, this stability and control of aerospace vehicle it is actually mainly the category of flight uh, mechanics and then you have flight simulation and control development this is also very very good you you may be knowing if you are preparing any drone then uh, you have to prepare a controller or you have to purchase controller like sometimes uh, when people they make drones they purchase regular controllers what is available like nowadays ready-made drones are also available but controllers you can create of your own 
so uh, you can you can pursue this because nowadays uh, uh, drone departments are actually booming in india also so definitely you can choose this also for your master degree program navigation guidance for, for uavs uavs means uav unmanned uh, air vehicles like here you have uh, micro air vehicles here you have unmanned air vehicles okay so like these parts in flight mechanics are also very very important definitely industry is going to boom very soon so you'll be having so much opportunity now we'll see uh, what are the uh sections we have in uh, propulsion so here you can see uh mind blowing rocket propulsion so beautiful and solid propellant combustion okay you may be knowing we have three types of combustions nowadays uh, like uh, of course we have uh, uh, in chemical combustion in chemical combustion we have solid combustion we have liquid combustion we have hybrid like that okay so uh, i'm not talking about any kind of uh, uh, electrical plasma or something something here we have solid propellant combustion see guys nothing is uh, like hypothetical these things are actually present in uh, iit madras laboratories okay so th these are the subjects and uh, air breathing propulsion system and combustion so air breathing means uh, jet propulsion right cascade flows multi phase flow simulation combustion instability this is very very i love this topic combustion instability like you will be having instability in combustion because of that you may also face uh, you may also face some kind of so actually mostly if we have to take it uh, uh, once upon a time i was listening uh, uh, one video i think from elon musk on uh, 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 on youtube and uh, there was a uh, flight accident uh, i i forgot like falcon 9 i'm not sure uh, so here the the idea was uh, behind that failure was uh, combustion instability i'm not sure i'm not sure but but remembering little bit optical flow combustion diagnostic again further this is nothing but a flow visualization so then we go for aerospace structure really interesting finite element and other numerical methods finite element methods in short we say fem okay in some softwares we discuss this composite structures like composites are very very important for our aviation industry right just because we want to increase our strength and we want to reduce our weight so we used to mix uh, i mean so we used to create our very good composites so like nowadays like very popular word is carbon fiber okay that is the uh, given by uh, composite structures right fatigue and fracture uh, mechanism mechanics so uh, contact mechanics and uh, vibration and impact mechanics like these things like by word itself you can judge what are we going to study inside this multifunctional materials of course like uh, a material which can go under multifunctionality multi skill modeling and uh, stochastic mechanics and plasticity okay so in a structure you can see as compared to uh, aero and uh, propulsion in a structure we have less number of subjects and then go for flight mechanics and here uh, something interesting you will see that in research uh, if you see uh, flight mechanics uh, under ms program then you can clearly see uh, they are actually saying that uh, uh, yeah, uavs developed actually they have developed uavs uavs developed using uh, an aircraft design code built in house based on bifurcation and continuation methods in flight dynamics means they have developed this using fly aircraft design code this is amazing right so in in the lab under guidance of uh, dr nandan k sinha uh, flown successfully means they have built they have flown successfully by a team of students led by uh, actually wing commander or wing cadre i'm not sure it it should be wing commander or wing cadre uh, madhur uh, thaplial i'm sorry if i'm uh, pronouncing it wrong madhur thaplial uh, and uh, this gentleman gentleman was sponsored by uh, is sponsored as mtech student from indian air force and they created and they uh, they have done all the flights so they have done all these three types of different things uh, okay and uh, this diagram is uh, not their flights simply just for an uh, uh, like uh, entertainment purpose i have given this diagram this diagram is not official diagram from iit madras okay so then we have two more things uh, flight dynamics and uh, stability and control so these things are the areas where you can do now you uh, now i will also also show you the facilities what we get in iit madras lab okay so you can clearly see facilities available in research aerodynamics laboratories you can see here again these diagrams are just for uh, that not for uh, academic purpose not from iit madras so combustion driven shock tunnel see shock tunnel you understand then combustion driven shock tunnel means uh, they will do combustion and then shock wave will produce and that shock wave will travel through uh, through the tunnel then low density tunnel 
supersonic wind tunnel see mostly what happens when students uh, listen this oh my god seriously in iit madras we have supersonic wind tunnel it sounds amazing so yes we have supersonic they have supersonic uh, wind tunnel in iit madras then transonic wind tunnel and uh, compressor you know very very heavy compressor 90 kilowatt motor to run the compressor 90 kilowatt guys kilowatt okay then air reservoir uh, they have three three numbers okay strut bed uh, mixing enhancement facilities and then we have supersonic combustion facilities supersonic combustion like these topics i used to uh, uh, talk when i take gate classes for aerospace so uh, yeah so then we go for cavity based uh, flame holding facilities sometimes i'm simply reading this facility uh, for oscillatory combustion response of uh, pre mixed flames particle image velocity metry then we have phase doppler particle analyzer uh, this you may be knowing very well like we used to uh, study particles so this helps us pressure uh, measurements yeah and then uh, diagnostic techniques like these are the facilities available instruments also of course instrument will be there like uh, ccd camera laser optical mirror lenses light sources pitot and static props and lot more so i hope i'm going well and then you see combustion facilities so window bomb erosive burning facility static solid rocket motor test facility gel liquid propellant rocket motor static test facility diagnostic techniques thermal measurements these are the facilities they have okay you can just pause the video and you, you can just read this if i read it will be very boring okay now you see in aircraft structure uh, you see all the facilities in their lab they have structures lab they have composite technology center and inside that center you have material testing laboratory utm40 and uniaxial biaxial test dart test actually one of my senior he was doing his mtech his ms in uh, aircraft structure so that time i have visited the lab and uh, actually he was uh, uh, testing uh, like there was one disk and uh, in this disk uh, he was rotating the disk and he was finding out vibration about the disk and uh, i was i was very beginner uh, in my time that i was really like young and when i saw that lab and all everything it was like oh my god this is this is really uh, scientific life and uh, he said that uh, uh, when he will revolve this i was very new i was not having proper idea like how vibration works and all so he said when we revolve this uh, and uh, if the mass distribution is uneven then uh, this bar will vibrate and now i understand what i was going through that time it was really amazing then they have dart test high velocity impact test compression um, um, uh, molding test and then filament uh, winding machine and then hand layup techniques and then hot oven furnace and drop uh, hammer test and centrifugal methods and iron impact test i hope you are loving my work thank you so much and definitely this video will add value in your career when you will be selecting your department for ms department i mean your subject for ms department ms in aerospace department yeah thank you so much